All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation four to the power of x squared over two to the power of x is equal to eight. So the only variable I'm solving for and the only variable that's in this equation is x. Now for my solution, And first start by writing my equation down here. So I have four to the power of x squared over two to the power of x is equal to eight. And what I'm first gonna do is start by rewriting four here as two squared. So I have two squared to the power of x squared over two to the power of x is equal to eight. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So two to the power of two to the power of x squared is gonna equal two to the power of two times x squared. Now I have this over two to the power of x is equal to eight. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So two to the power of two x squared over two to the power of x, that's gonna equal two to the power of two x squared minus x, and this is equal to eight. Now eight, I'm gonna rewrite this as two to the power of three. So now another property of exponents is that if I have something in form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. In other words, if the bases of two expressions are the same, that means the exponents are equal to each other as well. So now I have two to the power of x squared minus x is equal to three. And if I subtract three on both sides, I get two x squared minus x minus three is equal to zero. So now to solve this, I'm gonna use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 2, b is negative 1, and c is negative 3. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 3. And I have this all over 2a, so 2 times 2. So now this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 24 over four, which is equal to one plus or minus the square root of 25 over four, which is equal to one plus or minus five over four. So now this gives me two solutions. I get x equals one plus five over four, and x equals one minus five over four. So for x equals one plus five over four, I get x equals three over two. And for x equals one minus five over four, I get x equals negative four over four, which is negative one. So now going back here, I have four to the power of x squared over two to the power of x equals eight. So I'm gonna check these two solutions. So I'm gonna first start with negative one. So if I plug in x for negative one, I get four to the power of negative one squared over two to the power of negative one is equal to eight. So four to the power of negative one squared is the same thing as four to the power of one because negative one squared is just positive one. And two to the power of negative one is one over two. So this turns to four times two is equal to eight and eight is equal to eight. Now I'm gonna check x equals three over two. So I have four to the power of three over two squared over two to the power of three over two is equal to eight. So three over two squared is nine over four. So I have four to the power of nine over four over two to the power of three over two is equal to eight. So now to solve this, four to the power of nine over four is the same thing as four to the power of nine to the fourth root. So what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to rewrite this as 2 squared to the power of 9 over 4 over 2 to the power of 3 over 2. So now, let me rewrite this over here. Two times nine over four is 18 over four. So I get two to the power of 18 over four over two to the power of three over two is equal to eight. So now I get two to the power of 18 over four minus three over two is equal to eight. 18 over four minus three over two is equal to three. So I get two to the power of three is equal to eight and eight is equal to eight. So this is right. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve an expression that many people actually get wrong and which is very simple. So I have 10 divided by two times one plus four. And for those of you who actually wanna solve this, I have four answer choices. So I have A, which is one, B, which is nine, C, which is 25, and D, 30. So for those of you who wanna solve this, you can go ahead and pause the video to solve this. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into the explanation. So to solve this, we're gonna be using order of operations. And for order of operations, we can use the acronym PEMDAS. So we start from, we go from left to right here. So we first start with parentheses. So do we see any parentheses here? We do right here, one plus four. So we're gonna solve what's in the parentheses. So now I have 10 divided by two times one plus four, which is five. Next, we go to exponents. Well, there's no exponents here, so then we can move on. Next is multiplication and division. These two are grouped, so our addition and subtraction, they're grouped. So we first start with multiplication and division. Whichever comes first, we, we do that. So we have division, and then we have multiplication, meaning we first start with division. So 10 divided by two is five. So now I have five times five. And the only thing left is multiplication, meaning that's all that there's left to do. So five times five is 25. So C, 25 is my answer. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and also share this video to your friends or family. See if they mess up or if they get it right. Thank you.